Hi there! Today we are jumping into how to cut Archer and Olive digital stickers using Cricut Design Space software. We're starting off on the home screen and you're going to select New Project. From New Project, you're going to select Upload and you're going to upload your image. For today's tutorial, we will be using the Radiant Raccoon sticker set. We're going to select the folder that does not have the cut lines. Once that's uploaded, we're just going to continue. We're going to ignore all of this. And when we get to this screen, we're going to select flat graphic. Once we have our flat graphic imported, you're going to see this little warning sign next to your file. If you click on that, you can click auto resize image and that will put it to a page size that will allow you to cut it out. Once that's done, we're going to go back to upload, upload image, browse, and we're going to choose the file that has the cut lines. We're going to ignore everything and just continue. When we get to the screen, we're going to convert upload to single layer. And that's going to overlay it as a basic cut file. Now this you can manually resize. If you click on your first layer, you'll see the measurements is 6.71 inches by 9.26 inches. And we're just going to scale down our image to the same measurements. And then from there, we're going to highlight both layers and we're going to select align and we're going to align left and align to the top. Perfect. Once those are done, we're going to spend some time on the basic cut file, which is this black layer you see. At the bottom of this menu on the right hand side, you're going to see a menu option that says contour. You're going to click on this menu. And it's basically going to allow you to add or remove any of the black in the background. So we're going to hide all contours and you're just going to be left with this black, which is fine. If you click on that in your hide contour menu, you're going to get rid of that. So now we're going to go in and we're going to add our cut lines. So we are going to zoom in. Now this menu, this hide contour menu works better if you do keyboard shortcuts. If you're using a Mac, it's command and you can scroll in with your mouse. If you're doing it manually using the zoom in function over here, it might black out pieces that you don't want, but that's fine because you can always just go in and click on the blackout pieces to get rid of them. So we're going to start adding the cut lines to our illustrations. So as you can see, I clicked on the line and it blacked out the raccoon. That's fine. You're going to go back into your contour menu and you're going to click just around that edge there. And that's going to get rid of that black menu, but still give you the cut line. This part's a little bit tedious. If you have a better way of doing it, great, but I have found this to work best for me. And then we're just going to go in. <laughs> oh. Sometimes it can be hard to see with the contour menu. So I just open and close the menu to see where I'm at and what I need to work on. Okay, so now we have our file with our cut lines. Now we're going to pay attention. If you look at the second layer, it is set to basic cut. Now, if you were to cut this, oh, it wants to save project first. Now, if you were to cut this, you would see that our first layer is set in the middle of the page for print and cut, but then our basic cut is just set in the corner of the mat. And so that's not going to cut properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to set basic cut to print then cut under operations menu. If you need to go back in and change your contours for whatever reason, you can always change the operation back to basic and then you'll have your basic cut. But for now, we're going to put that as print then cut. We're going to go to the make screen. Everything looks okay now. As you can see, it's lined up to cut now. Continue. Okay, make sure your machine is turned on. It's going to look for your machine. 
then you're going to send your illustrated file to the printer. Make sure not to add bleed. If it adds bleed, it's going to print funny and it's not going to look good. So make sure to unclick add bleed. Everything else looks good. You're going to hit print. As you can see, our sticker sheet looks like it does on the screen. So we are ready to move on to the next step. Okay, we've confirmed that our cut file looks correct. So we're going to click done. Then when it comes to the actual cutting, we're going to go to the second layer. We're going to click I've already printed. You're going to pick your sticker material. This is the setting that I like and I find works best for me. And then for pressure, we're going to put less. By putting the pressure at less, it's going to have your sticker sheet actually peel up properly. <laughs> and then you're going to load your tools and materials. Once the machine's done processing and lining up and everything, you can click go. And then once the cutting's done, you can hit complete for the project. And that is how you can cut Archer and Olive digital stickers using Cricut Design Space software. And there you have the convenience of printing and cutting your own digital stickers. As you can see, you're able to print it on any sticker material that you have or would like to use. And you can even change the sizing of the stickers. You can make them smaller. If you make them bigger, they are going to pixelate. But you can definitely make them smaller and use it throughout your monthly planning. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. Otherwise, have fun making your own digital stickers.